got Sam Atkin here. Just took down the British record yeah. over 3,000 meters. Were you expecting to run that fast tonight? Um, I was expecting to go pretty fast, but uh, mid 730s or something. I knew it was going to be a fast pace uh, with Nagoose running. And uh, funny enough, I was talking to Joe Klecker and he was like, he's in shape. Just go with him. <laughs> and uh, I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. So the race plan was sit on the goose and see what I can do. And uh, yeah, it went well. I wish I'd gone a little bit earlier with them, um, but I can't complain. It's a British record. A little, a little second and a half out of the European one, which would have been even sweeter, but it's a good first race of the season. So. Yeah. So where have you been training for this thing? Uh, I've been in actually Boulder, Denver area. Okay. So, um, but been dealing with visa issues so I've actually been going back and forth lately to the UK and back so it's been it's been a pain in the butt but uh it's time to you know do a couple of months in Colorado so I'll yeah. be start in the, in the next few weeks I'll start to get some rhythm because I'll won't be traveling so much but um so I'm looking forward to you know the next uh, few races so. yeah and who's who's coaching you like, uh, my college coach uh michael collins from lewis clark state college it's a uh, college in idaho so he's still coached me ever since i finished and uh it's going well <laughs> yeah so i know last year like you started last year without a sponsor is that right or when yeah did you get i got Puma my deal? i got my Puma deal in april may last year so you know it's it's really helping it's starting i'm gonna you know the dividends are going to start to pay you know so um that was the real struggle beforehand and i never was given a shot so uh puma's helping me out with uh everything and it's uh it's a good start to the very first, the the start of the season being uh sponsored so yeah it's uh it's it's something i don't have to worry about and concentrate on my running so i'm excited how long were you without a deal uh ever since i finished college i kind of stopped after college for a year and then came back to it mm -hmm. um and then for three or four years i was just running by myself like without a, you know, a sponsorship and i think last year in boston probably helped a little bit and uh you know ever since it's just been it's been great so working working towards some consistency and worries about running and nothing else so yeah. it's, it's nice yeah <laughs> was it like how stressful was it with Without the contract, was there any point where you kind of figured, thought to yourself, I might need to look for something else? Yeah, uh, you know, it's probably a regular thing every week. You think, should I keep doing this or something? Just because, you know, how do you fund yourself? And honestly, if it wasn't for the kindness of my my coach, who I lived with for three or four years, I wouldn't be in this situation. And I still wouldn't be running today. So um, it's funny how things work out. So, yeah. And uh, you know that that's. I trust him, he trusts me, and uh, things are working out well. So. Yeah. And that was your coach at Lewis Clark that you yes. lived live with? Yeah, yeah so yeah. I, I did a lot of training in Idaho with him, and uh, that's kind of how everything uh, came together. And just now I don't need to worry about that. With yeah. Puma, still with him as my coach, and everything's, you know, up and up. So. So this was your first race of the season then? This is my first race of the season, so. It's a pretty good start. What do you do from here? Like, do you have any other races on the schedule? Um, I'm not too sure right now. Usually we have that fast 5K in Boston in two weeks, but everybody seems to be going tonight. I joked to my coach just now, should I, uh, should I hop in the 5K? Uh, probably not smart for the uh, start of the season, but it's very tempting. Yeah. <laughs> Had you raced on this track before then? Uh, the 5K last year, yeah. when I went 13.03, so. I, I, I know it a little bit, but, you know, uh, I saw, I, I like to do a 3K as, you know, a first one just to warm up and, uh, you know, it's a, it's a good first one when you've got uh, OAC and a few other guys running, so. Yeah. yeah. I mean, breaking a Mo Farah record, that's pretty impressive. Too. Yeah, no, no, it felt good, especially it being my first one, so uh, just a second, nearly two seconds off the European, so it w would have been a little sweeter, but next time. Next How do you time. celebrate? Uh, cold beer, I think. Corona. Yeah. Good man. All right. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you.